Okay, so it's been a long time since we filmed a focus. I've forgotten how they start. Yeah, so just start it, I guess. So the flavour of this week's focus is going to be a little bit different because I think the last few we've done have been like how, the how not to do business ones, yeah. where it's been like, you know, pulling back the curtains and like, these are the kind of crazy emails I get and here's like some behind the scenes YouTube stuff you may not be aware of. But in the same vein, this is about a business that doesn't exist yet. It's mine. It exists right up here. And it's an idea I've had for so long. I thought, well, I've got access to its audience now. I, you know, I can get some feedback, you know, so it's all here. So it'd be useful or maybe cathartic for me to like, you know, just air this idea out and see what people think of it because, yeah, I've talked before I want to own a pub, but that's, it's a pipe dream. It's owning pubs, like, you know, they're really, really bad investments. And so are restaurants because I watch so much Gordon Ramsay. Don't they, don't they like only last a couple of years? Yeah, fun fact, like 30% of all fucking restaurants fail in the first year. Or some stupid like, and you have to like, they all run at a loss for like three years or something. Like a restaurant is a crazy, stupid investment and you'd be an idiot to try and like, you know, start one up so let's talk about the one i want to do and it's because i grew up on a council estate and my comfort foods are very very similar very humble very spartan and i'm not you like live with me for a bit when we were housemates in uni yeah. you've seen the kind of shit i used to describe it for the people at home well i think the favorite is beans on toast beans on fucking toast hell yeah or waffle sandwiches yeah anything that's like quite starchy or yeah. like yellow or beige Cheap in color fucking <laughs> Frozen food is like my, my comfort. Like even now, like I'm, I'm doing okay, I guess. Like, you know, the YouTube channel saying, oh, I will still get really excited and I get myself a tin of beans on sausage and I'll put it on toast and I'll put a little bit of grated cheese on it, a little bit of Branston pickle. That's the shit I do like, good sir. And my idea is because something that annoys me greatly is when you see those staples of like, you know, working class childhood, like fish finger sandwiches and stuff like that, when you see the upmarket seven pound version. Like when you go to a like, you know, pub and you get pub lunch, it's like, it's not a fish finger sandwich, it is cod goujons on a sea batter roll. It's like, no, fuck off. It's a fucking fish finger sandwich. So my idea is, why not just give the people what they want? A fish finger fucking sandwich. And not try and make it fancy, not cod goujons on that fit, bird's eye fish fucking fingers on Warburton's bread. And my idea is just have a restaurant, or it's not, I guess it's not a restaurant if you're not cooking anything, but have a place where people can go order food that serves that kind of thing. Yeah. And my idea is, like my twist will be, we serve it the way you want. For example, if you order a fish finger sandwich, like it sounds so simple, so stupid, but this is comfort food for people. And obviously people have very specific ways they eat their comfort food. For example, people might have like, you know, a preference for a certain thickness of bread. And my idea would be, on when you order your fish finger sandwich, you can choose, do you want thin sliced bread? Do you want medium sliced bread? Do you want that extra thick toasty door wedge stuff for yours? Because some people like that. Yeah. When you order your pot noodle, what do you, how much water do you want in your pot noodle? What do you want to have your pot noodle with? So I, when I have a pot noodle, I like to dip really thick bread in it. And then it would soak up all the juices and then I make a pot noodle sandwich. Which sounds stupid, but I guarantee you the people out there right now are like, I fucking love pot noodle sandwiches. And wouldn't you love to go to a place and order one, but be able to specify how thick the bread was for your pot noodle sandwich? Because if you went into like any other restaurant and you asked for a specific thickness of bread, they'd call you an idiot. Also sauces as well. Some yeah. people have like weird sauces. And like that's that. the thing, yeah. People like the Hendersons, people like the Worcestershire sauce. People like, you know, Heinz is usually the standard and a lot of restaurants just have one. But what about if you like Daddy's? There are people out there like, what about Chop? Chop is a brown sauce that I never see in restaurants, but I fucking love Chop. It's been years since I've had brown sauce. Yeah, but well, you, the thing is though, what kind of brown sauce do you like? Because this is my thinking. I think HP. Exactly, but if... Obviously, if you had brown sauce, you'd have it, but yeah. you'd prefer HP. Yeah. And wouldn't it be nice to be given that choice? Yeah. And wouldn't it be nice? And this is the <laughs> thing. Whenever I talk about this to any of my friends, they always go, yeah, they never do that, do they? They always just have Heinz tomato sauce. Well, what about if I want to have a different tomato sauce? What about if I don't like Heinz? What about if I want HP sauce instead of whatever yeah. fuck they're doing? I can't remember if it was like Wetherspoons or it was a pub yeah. and I wanted specifically Heinz mayonnaise and they only had Hellman's and I don't like Hellman's. Exactly. So I was and annoyed. Th and that's my idea of it's simple but it's the way you want it. Yeah. And you because it's obviously really cheap, you can get it in cheap and you can sell it cheap. And that was just my thinking of because I've so many times when I see it was inspired by when I see people make like beans on toast. Yeah. It sounds like the simplest thing in the world, but everyone always makes it a different way. Everyone always cuts their toast differently or puts like a different amount of butter on or there's no butter at all. Or they cook that and it's, it's like a cup of tea. When you order a cup of tea from somewhere, what do they do? They give you a fucking tea bag and not water. 
Uh, you don't get to specify, and you don't get to specify what tea bag it is. You don't do that. It's like, what about if you want Yorks tea, Tetley's, PG Tips? That'd be my restaurant. You get to choose what you want. The thing is, you get to you want PG, you want Yorkshire tea? Fucking too right you get your Yorkshire tea. What coffee do you want? Oh, you want a Yazoo? Let's get some fucking Yazoo in. Oh, you want a Calippo? You want one of those like little uh, Panda Pops? Get them all in. Oh, Fuck pops. yeah, exactly. Panda Pop, it's so good. <laughs> Will and you then, do um, anything like desserts or anything like that? Well, like? yeah, all the sweets. Like, you know, get all your Soleros and stuff like that. All the things that you want when you're a kid. Yeah. The things that you have, and that's my idea of behind it, because the stuff you had when you were younger, but they've tried to make like upmarket versions for those gastro pubs and they're always shit. So I've had so many times I've ordered stuff like uh, fucking goujons on a sea of batter roll. I'd much rather just have like bird's eyes just on white bread with red sauce. It'd be so nice. It's the crap that I'm having. To be honest, I quite, like the, I quite like the goujons. <laughs> they are, but it's not the same. Yeah. And that was just my idea. And it's, yeah. And every time I talk about it, someone goes, you should do that. And I go, no, because I watched so much Gordon Ramsay and it failed in three years. Yeah. It's the shit food that you had when you were a kid, but you kind of crave. Sometimes people just want to eat shit. So people watch these videos, because clearly people don't care about quality sometimes. <laughs> I really want some um, sausage, chips and beans now, because that yeah. was my favourite. Exactly, yeah. Like, Lucas, have you got any like, comfort foods when you were a kid that you had like that? And what was your go-to, like, shitty, like, food? Always just instant noodles. Instant noodles. But did you have a specific brand that you liked? Uh, yes, Coley noodles. Exactly. And this is where it is, because everybody always says, I like this specific thing. Yeah. And if you, when I say, oh, I'd serve, like, that crap, I go, but, yeah, but, yeah, I prefer bird's eyes, or I prefer this brand of that thing. Well, that's what we'd sell. And that'd be the thing. You get to choose what you want. If it's your fucking meal. But it's, it's a dream. And like all dreams, this one's going to die. But I just thought I'd share it. Yeah, I like it. It's a good idea. It is. I hope, yeah, anyway. Fuck super noodles. Super, yeah, super noodles suck ass. Anyone who eats super noodles, you're like, you're a fucking animal. Super noodles can fuck off the edge of my dick. It's all about, like, Coley noodles, man. That's all. Coley's is the shit. Super noodles, fuck off. <laughs>